What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red. And we back for some more of that Ali Land boxing talk, people. And today we talking Vasil Lomachenko not calling out Javante Davis. Lomachenko moving to PBC Boxing. All right, people. Uh, I had to record this twice, man. <laughs> Messed up the video. Uh, but uh, to me, this is a fight that, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, have been wanting to happen for a while. Uh, I feel like uh, both of these guys, you know, are really multi-talented fighters, you know. And uh, I just feel like, unfortunately, for, for both guys, the state of uh, boxing and... Uh, the fact that, uh, you know, especially for Javante Davis, that he's uh, promoted by, I believe, Floyd Mayweather. I don't know if he's actually on PBC Boxing, but I know he's promoted by Floyd Mayweather. But it just seems like he can't seem to find a fight, you know, at the at the moment. You know, like a, a, a high-level, pay-per-view, top-tier fight. Uh, and the only guy who's really out there to me, too, for him to fight is uh, Vasil Lomachenko. There are a couple of other guys out there, but I just don't feel like the matchups are, uh, the, I don't feel like the matchups are that hot right now and, you know, people would be willing to pay for it. Uh, I feel like, uh, the reason that, uh, Lomachenko is not calling out Javante Davis is, is a, has a lot to do with, uh, Bob Arum and, uh, the fact that I feel like, uh, you know, both of these guys, you know, they're smaller guys, you know. Uh, uh, <clears throat> but I feel like uh, Javante Davis is the, you know, naturally bulkier guy. You know, I feel like he probably walks around around 140, uh, 145, somewhere around there. So I feel like he, he, could, not, he could easily move up and... Uh, and, and fight at 140. I, I feel like he could easily, easier move up and fight at 140 than uh, maybe Vasil Lomachenko could. And I feel like at the moment, I, that's that's one of the things that's hampering Lomachenko's career is that he really doesn't have any fight anybody else to to really fight. You know, uh, in the fashion that he beat Rigondeaux in, he's not gonna do you know 135 fighters or 140 fighters. So for him, that's just He's kind of stuck between the rock and the hard place to me because the, at top rank, there's just the competition level is really low when you look outside of Terrence Crawford and Vasil Lomachenko. Uh, as 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 far as him, uh, uh, will will this fight happen? I don't think this fight is going to happen. I don't think Vasil Lomachenko wants to fight Javante Davis for the fact that he's actually uh, the naturally bigger guy. You know, I think Vasil Lomachenko has a problem carrying weight. You know, he's super talented, but you know, carrying weight and carrying power are two different are two different things. Because you can carry weight and not carry over your power, or you can carry weight and not carry over your speed. So I feel like that's one of the things that's going to hamper this fight from happening. I feel like Javante Davis is a little might have a little more snap on his punch than uh, Vasil Lomachenko does. Uh, you know, a fight that I really wish would have happened, you know, uh, if uh, Lomachenko hadn't, you know, done Rigondeaux in the way that he it beat, defeated Rigondeaux in the way that he did, it would have been a, a good, uh, nice tune-up fight to watch uh, Rigondeaux and Javante Davis get it on, you know what I'm saying? That would have been a great fight. Uh, but, uh, you know, who knows? I don't really think anybody knows what's going on with, you know, Guillermo Rigondeaux at the moment. Uh, I believe he has a fight coming up in January. First of the year, I believe it is. Uh, don't quote me on it, but I believe it's the first of the year. Uh, so I'm hoping uh, Guillermo Rigado makes a return. But I, I would have liked to have seen Guillermo Rigado versus Javante Davis. That would have been a nice fight. Outside of that, I just don't see too much else going on for either one of these guys. Uh, outside of them moving up in weight, which is, uh, I think that's going to be the next step for, for both of those. Uh, both of these guys. I don't feel like Vasil Lomachenko is going to step all the way up to 140, but I see him going up to 135 and kind of just campaigning there uh, maybe for the next two years and actually probably retiring after that because for for a lack of competition and a lack of opponents. Uh, as far as Javante Davis goes, I just feel like uh, there's just nobody else out there for him to fight at the moment. There's a couple of guys, but I just don't feel like the money 
is there and uh the 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 fan base is there to sell it as a pay per view. Um as far as Lomachenko moving to PBC boxing, I feel like for his career, it would be the best thing for him to move to be there, there are a few more fights over there that could be made. I don't know, he would have to move up and wait. There's still a few more fights over there that could be made. Uh I believe the zone, there are a few fights there that he would but I feel like he would be more popular uh fighting under the PBC banner. Uh or even signing with himself and try to freelance, you know. To me the thing about boxing is uh is this. I feel like boxing I feel like the networks, the sports networks, uh could save the sport of boxing just by signing boxers and having boxers fight exclusively for certain networks, you know, and cutting out the middleman as far as the promoter goes, I feel like uh, the only people who can actually fix boxing are the sporting networks. You know, I'm surprised they haven't gotten into the boxing game yet by just offering boxers exclusive deals to come fight on their network and having them promote the fights. You know, it, it would be easier for them to do that than to keep going through promoters. You know, I, don't, I really don't understand why, you know, that hasn't happened yet. And actually... Being the HBO is rebooting, it would be a perfect time for them to get back into the boxing, uh, 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 the sport of boxing by signing fighters exclusively instead of going through uh, some type of promoter. You know, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about that. You know, as far as uh, that, you know, uh, you know, solving the problem of fighters not being able to match up against the guys that everybody wants to see them match up against. You know, if you got if if these guys are independent and they can sign a one fight deal with a network instead of signing multi fight deals with a promoter and, and you know, two guys sign a one fight deal to fight on ESPN or two guys sign a one fight deal to fight on Fox Network or two guys fight uh sign a one fight deal to fight on uh, uh you know HBO or blah blah blah, whatever network. You know, you you would think that these networks would would have got in on the money by now. You know, they have so much money to play with. You would think they would have got in on boxing by now, but they still want to be kind of be the sideline guy instead of the main the main attraction. So, uh, like I said, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about that. Uh, I'm gonna have some uh, Javante Davis gear and some uh, 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 not Javante Davis. I'm sorry, but uh, some Mikey Garcia gear and some. Uh, I'm sorry, Javante Davis and some Loba Chico girl. I don't know what I'm thinking, man. But uh, make sure y'all hit that description box. You know, check that out. Leave me a, a thumbs up. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment. You know, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your uncle, your dog, your cat. We out of here. It's Ali Land Boxing Talk for now.